What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, doing another recap series. We did these last year with the whole Flyways Collective. Doing them again. Today, I'm doing Josh from Outdoor Limits. He's got a goose hunt and it is uh, called This Hunt Was Insane. I believe it's a goose hunt. Well, let's jump into it. And here we go. That's efficiency, boys. We're starting off That's strong. Right there. Dropping Good morning, goose. boys and girls of all ages. <laughs> That was kind of a dumb intro. Going with like a circus but intro. But we'll roll here. with it. Today we're hunting in a cornfield. Um, we got like 50 mile per hour gusts of wind. It's just kind of a nasty Ooh, day out. Got great. a little bit of snow. We snow got and wind. Some all of my favorite days to hunt. The decoys out today. And they've got a spread. Holy crap. And with it being so windy. Man, that looks good. And I don't know if the camera's picking up. There's one right there. You can, you can see him moving. We got spread out here. Ideally, the birds are gonna come right in front of us. We got sleeper shells on the corners, big feed, full bodies in the middle. We're trying to stay in the blind here so then you guys can hear me. But Get them in tight. We got the A frame staked out um, so then they don't blow away. But yes, we are running A frames in the middle of a cut cornfield. One of the blinds is not grassed in very good, the other one is. Um, we'll see, it's gonna have we'll to see how they do here. In that blind if you've got ideal conditions, this though, one, I mean, birds will come. I think it'll do okay, but especially with the wind pushing we'll this back yeah, down in here. See how they do. We'll just roll with it. Hopefully, we can keep our heads down, stay hidden, get these geese to work yeah. right in the pocket, and uh, shoot them up. So, we'll flip the GoPros on when the birds start to come. What do you got there, Levi? I've got the best blind snack. I hunted with Levi. He was on our today. collab. He actually um, hooked us up on that collab trip where we all eat. shot geese. Little, uh, and uh, great dude. Here, so gonna, and him and Josh have a podcast, the Outdoor around, Limits podcast. You guys should go check that out after watching this. Not bite over them. It's a pretty good podcast. And, uh, don't, don't eat them Dots so pretzels. Fast those are <laughs> those are tasty. Pass them down. Just, Always got to have the guy bring the snacks. If you're good, you can have another one at the end of the day. Ideal part of the crew. You want one? Sure. That's usually me. I'm gonna I have hunt one too. Solo a lot. They're my favorite snack. <laughs> so something that I used this morning when we were trying to figure out where exactly to set up in this field was I used Onyx to look at the topo map of this field. You never want to set up in like a low valley in a field most of the time. So I used that topo map to figure out where like the highest point on this field is, and that's pretty close to where we set up that is a good point you we're do kind of on a terrace on here to kind of help hide the, the blind but we're kind of really 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 close to the highest point on this field so it's another way i've used the app this year so check it out there's a link in the description right all right here we go i wonder how long it took him to set that out looks like there's four guys with him so. committed look at that wait wait <laughs> leave i said wait josh shot him dude that was too pretty stoned him that is man, that is what dreams are made of seeing them cup up like I checked that it. it's not banded <laughs> josh and levi they get on some banded honk oh my gosh that is pretty cupped up Dumped him. Starting the day off right. Big ol' honk daddy. Stoned him. Oof. Stoned him. Softball head on this sucker. Came right dudes. in. Just Big hovering. Dudes. So, if we can get singles, doubles, triples, seven packs all day long coming in doing that thing, dude, it's going to be Dash a fun dang. day. Um, it's That'd definitely reassuring itching for to waterfowl see that season already. And being able to get a shooting opportunity, we had to kind of mess around with uh, us. I love, I love when they wa when they work in like that. Absolutely. Locked. Goose for me was really, really so tough that, last year. Other than that, Kansas hunt, and then decoys. maybe one I mean, or two other days. I mean, I was days, looking at him right here, so. So we didn't get to see many done, views so. like that last year, unfortunately. Uh, but hopefully this year we get some weather to finally push the geese. That was in like 17 yards. That was close. 17 yards. He was a little out there still. I think. We'll let him in tighter, Josh. Ooh, here's a nice looking flock. 
Locked up. Look at that. Gosh dang. Fighting that wind. They're gonna get up and out fast today. That's that's one thing to remember when there's high winds. Those birds can get out after that first shot. They got that wind that can push them out super quick. Well, there's been a few groups coming. But they by. still got yeah. three, so a not group bad. Kind of three out of seven. Down, I by the time we pulled up, they were a lot farther than I thought they were. Uh, I think they're having a really hard time getting down in this wind. So we're gonna have to be really patient on these birds because I mean they just catch that wind and they're up and out. That can happen though. I've experienced that, that so many times I've, with ducks, but I've, I've done that before. Ever in these kind of wind conditions for geese, get a little too, little too got antsy. Got a few in the bag. Pull the trigger a little too early, that, but so they still got some. Get so. a few more coming in. Four birds getting down. Getting some honkers. With wings like that, man, they just <laughs> they hit that wind. Oh and they yeah, just dude. Peel out. I mean, they yeah. can get up and out. I mean, 50 mile an hour wind. They're just gone. I can't tell if it's snowing still or if it's just snow blowing around with the wind. I miss it. It's like 80 degrees right here right now and I'm hoping yeah, it's snow. There, it's just like, you need goggles or something. Yeah. Make summer in oh, already. <laughs> hopefully we can get some more geese. Here we go. Shoot them. No. They had to hook back in. Hook back around in. Can I shoot these? <laughs> oh, he got two. Two with one shot. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. That is sweet. That's efficiency, boys. That's efficiency. Right there. Right there. I waited for that. I know. That's what I'm talking about! Dang. Dang, that was awesome. You know, you just practice enough, you'll reach my level eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, geez. It's covered up. Little guys. <laughs> I like little geese. Some guys don't like them. They're harder to decoy in. Obviously not here, but <laughs> typically those little geese are harder to decoy in, but I like them. Wait. They're just really cool. <laughs> They're fighting that win. That one, that one's close. Those two. Now shoot them! One. Two. Two. I don't know how many they got. Look here. Look here. I don't know if I can pause it. Whoa. I'm going to go right back here real quick. If you look right there, that's the goose Josh passed up. He was looking at the close one. And I did that with a pintail. I was shooting at a mallard, and there was a nice drake pintail behind. But nothing is pretty. Look at that quill. White wingtips, white bar. And Josh didn't see him until after the hunt. I actually, he actually sent me a picture of this and told me about that. I, that stinks. That stinks right there. But what are you going to do? I mean, he's still got birds. So. Whoa. <laughs> hey, hey, big group. Big Two group. birds, one shell. Big group coming got right another right. one that came in, another group. I don't even oh, have time. Right I don't even have time to. Oh, that's a big group of geese. To talk, um, but oh, yeah, man, that quill, you guys, but that quill, whew, it's getting western right that, here. That was a beautiful, beautiful bird. He's still flying around out there. Hopefully, this year will cross my path. A couple of ducks, maybe. 
A big old group of these here. been another flock up closer. I got two or three out of there. Holy smokes. Well, if that's the same flock or they couldn't even... Well, Shoot up. these. Those four. Feathers. There they went. Cupped out. They're cupped out. There they come. Jeez. They must have just all got off the roost or whatever and just started dumping. Oh my gosh. These are doing her perfect. Drop on in. Shoot him now, Josh. Jeez, two shots and three falls. You did. <laughs> that is insane. That must have been a day. I'm not gonna count that. All right, we're those. getting packed up. We got all the decoys picked up. We're just kind of putting final touches on here. Gonna take a picture. What a day! It's nasty out, snowing, windy, but we killed some honkers. Just lots of two for ones today. Levi got a two for one. I got a double. I got a two for one. <laughs> it was a good day. I, I shot. I shot five times and I killed four birds. That's a good day Jeez. right there. That I did take the 12-gauge out today just to make you guys happy, so I'm shooting 12-gauge at geese instead of the 20-gauge. I also didn't want to play around with this wind. I knew it would be taking a little farther shots because it will get out quick, but I'm going to check in with you guys when I get home. We're going to take a picture and get out of here. Well, guys, this is not a bad hunt at all. The wind, the cold, the snow, it made it just a really neat experience, and I'm really glad everything worked out the way it did. We didn't have birds decoying in super great, but we had some awesome shooting. All right, and that is where I'm gonna end it. That is a great day. They they work. I mean, just that one starting off, and then like they like Josh said, you know, him and Levi got those doubles. But oh man, that quill, that quill would give me would just make me sick to my stomach, honestly. If I if I had that in my shot came and I saw that, and you're that close, but and you know that's kind of what Josh was saying when we were talking about it. it uh, I mean, what are you going to do, though? But that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoy these review videos. Let me know what you guys think down below. Be sure to like and subscribe not only to Josh's channel, Outdoor Limits, but also check out mine, High Prairie Sportsman. And we'll catch you out there, guys. See ya.